Unto a land that I will show you next verse. And I will make of thee a great nation. And I will bless thee. And make thy name great. And thou shalt be a blessing. Next verse. And I will bless them that bless thee. And curse him that cursed thee. And in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. So the blessing was what? The preaching of the gospel. So when you receive the gospel you are blessed when you reject the gospel you are cursed what is the blessing to be welcomed in what is the cause to be pushed out it's cause is not your mama your papa no cause in bible language is to be out of god's salvation plan because you rejected the gospel the blessing in bible language is to be welcomed into the land hmm? welcomed where into the land which is what salvation which is what the spirit of god which is what the new creation so the same thing jesus said in john 20 23 whosoever sins you remit they are remitted unto them how do you remit people's sins by the preaching of what the gospel and whosoever sins you retain they are retained how do you retain people's sins by not preaching the gospel this is what the curse is it's like saying the day you eat of it you shall surely die huh? okay when i say i am blessed you know what it means huh when i say you are blessed you know what it means Huh? you know what it means so a man can have jets houses and he can have yachts in the sea and luxurious buildings in banana island in lagos and he is cursed huh? a man can be the president of america and have access to world power and he's still cursed hello hello a man can have no house no car just a pair of trousers and a pair of shirts and is a highly blessed glory to god <laughs> teaching good so the rich man was cursed and lazarus was blessed you didn't hear that the rich man was cursed and lazarus was blessed lazarus was blessed because he believed in the law and the prophets why was the rich man cursed because he did not believe he that believeth shall be saved he that believeth shall be blessed is that correct he that believeth not is condemned or he that believeth not is caused if it's getting clear shout i hear that's why jesus in the use of the word blessed in matthew chapter 5 did not include anything material blessed are the poor in spirit blessed are the meek blessed are they which hunger and thirst after righteousness blessed are you when all men shall revile you and abuse you he didn't put their blessed he see that has a car a wife and a three-bedroom flat with dvd player and microwave why are you laughing He said, you are fortunate when men shall curse you and revile you and say all manner of things on you. Why? Because you carry on you the shame of our Lord Jesus. That looks contradictory. So we must learn to use Bible terms and use them biblically. 
We must stay within the Bible in using the terms of the Bible. And when you look at your Bible from Matthew to Revelation, the word blessed have nothing to do with material possession. All through the entire New Testament. Even in the Old Testament, it had to do with the plan of God's redemption. The word blessing. Why was the rich man cursed? Because he did not believe. He that believeth shall be saved. He that believeth shall be blessed. Is that correct? He that believeth not is condemned. Or he that believeth not is caused. If it's getting clear, shout I hear. Which will mean that no man can break causes. Which means that the breaking of causes is fraud. Is it getting clear now? That's why they are trying to change it to the blessing of Abraham. 